David in Cincinnati. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Hey, David, how are you? Not uh, bad. How about yourself? Good. Hot. Good, good, good. Um, I, I, I think, Matt, you were, um, you demonstrated great patience. Well, uh, I lost on, it. On the but... standpoint of your, um, you, the, what you said in the beginning of the show with that guy. But, um, but the, the, the reason I'm calling, I, I had a question for you. I had an experience. I had a, um, a miraculous experience yesterday. I was driving to the park, and I looked up at the clouds, and I saw the cookie monster. And, I mean, it was the cookie monster, and he was looking right at me. And I, <laughs> and I thought, you know, and I was wondering. So Sesame Street why, must be real. It, that, um, <laughs> when we look at, when we see things like that, well, you know, the Virgin Mary in the sky or cookie monster or whatever, why is it that we always see as humans, not just religion, you know, or religious people, why is it that we always see iconic figures like, um, you know, Mickey Mouse or Pluto or, or Jesus, why why don't we see um you know Spot our dog or Steve our best friend or our deceased mother you know that's I I'd that's argue fun. that on occasion we do I mean um, Beth has a great photo on her Facebook that's just a smiley face it's just an abstract smiley face um, I, you know I remember people would see bunnies or horses or animals and whatnot um, I think this is a little bit of confirmation bias and or, or reporting bias in that the ones that we're going to hear about on the news are somebody seeing you know, uh, the Virgin Mary and a piece of toast. If somebody sees, you know, a bunny rabbit and a piece of toast, it's probably not going to get any press. Sure, sure. Yeah, so there is, there is this idea that, uh, um, that, that religious figures are more significant and they're more significant to more people. And um, if you see something that, that somebody else can see too, then you get this mm -hmm. snowballing effect, this, this mob psychology going. <coughs> So, so it's sort of two things at, at play here. One is the fact that we can see patterns and things, and and we, and, and all these images and things that we're exposed to, you know, if you're exposed to, to Mary all the time, then you're you're going to see Mary in lots of places. That's that's one effect. And the other is the mob psychology of, of oh, this is significant, and oh, do you see it too? And are you blessed? And all this, all this stuff, uh, and then it snowballs and gets into the press or whatever. Um, yeah, I I love reports of Peridalia and um, that's the official name of it and I Phil Plate on his blog will occasionally run one when it hits press and and he'll he will occasionally run some uh, that he sees and what they are you know in a, in a picture of um, the terrain on Mars or the moon or whatever he'll see something and it won't be religious in nature and by and large sometimes uh, I think that those reports end up being better and more convincing I mean I've seen pictures of like um, this is Jesus in the wood grain on my bathroom door, and it looks shockingly um, unlike what it's supposed to be. It's, it, and yet yeah. I've seen others where, you know, it's like, hey, is that Photoshopped? Um, mm -hmm. And it's because we're all prone to seeing yeah. those patterns. My favorite is Jesus on the butt of the dog, but if you haven't <laughs> seen that one, go look for it. It's a hoot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I had to throw that out. Okay, I just wanted to get uh, throw that at you guys. I, I, I you know what would be cool? You know what would be cool? To see a pine cone in a piece of toast. <laughs> there you That's go. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and it would be, have to be deeply religiously significant for some reason. Cool. You can, you can use your imagination to make up a reason. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we, we got, went on so long with one call that I, I hope we've wrapped yours up nicely and can move on. Okay, thank you. Great. Thanks, David. Bye.